How's everyone doing? My name is Marcus, and today I want to talk about the Call of Duty Elite, which is supposed to be a pay-to-play system. Well, I'm here to tell you it is not. Uh, big news came out this morning, um, May 31st, and I'm really tired, so bear with me. But um, David Vondahar, the community manager, or he's not the community manager, some guy, community guy from um, Triarch, has posted a link on his Twitter to... This guy's article that explains the Call of Duty Elite system and how it's going to work. So it must be legit. So I'm going to read it to you. And I'm going to read some of the things. And the guy is uh, one of words. One of swords. Not words. Swords. Okay. And basically it says um, he's been following the project internally for a few months. And he figured that when people heard about it, they would need a lot of information. Many new game outlets have stories about it today and plenty of details. So... Check this site because this one is the right one. The other ones are telling you a bunch of stuff that some may be true, some may be false, but this guy's got it right because even the actual developers are agreeing with him. So, it's going to be a service. It says it takes the best bits of stat tracking service, a social network, an interactive strategic or strategy guide, and a competitive gaming site. Then custom design all that for the Call of Duty community, and that's elite. The three words you'll hear most often to define the service are connect, compete, and improve. You can create custom leaderboards with friends, learn from detailed stats of your entire COD career performance, consult expert players, join competitive leagues, win real prizes, lots of stuff. There is a video, The Legend of Carl, that gives you an interview, blah, blah. I might link that, I don't know. I don't think it's a big deal. It says Activision is not charging for Call of Duty multiplayer. Because it needs to be said over and over again, apparently, the COD multiplayer experience you know and love remains exactly as it is now with no additional fees. Elite ties into the multiplayer of both Modern Warfare 3 as well as Black Ops. So he's going to put them in Black Ops too? Okay. But that integration is at no cost to you and nothing is being taken away from the multiplayer experience. Just the opposite. Elite is here to enhance it and it's also free. It says Call of Duty Elite is free for all players and there will be an addition an additional premium membership. So I don't know if that'll cost a little bit or not. The core functionality of Elite is free. Any Call of Duty player will be able to log in and use it for no charge. Additional offerings above and beyond to the core stuff will become with a fee. So it will be a fee if you want to get the cool stuff. And so they'll probably make a lot of money off that. The simplest and best analogy I can think of is TV. You can watch NBC, CBS, and ABC all you want just for the price of buying a TV. However, if you want more Comedy Central or HBO or NBA League Pass, then you subscribe to a cable or satellite service. You don't have to do it. So, when 402 said you'll never have to pay to play, you don't have to pay to play multiplayer. You just buy this for additional stuff, I guess. Um, premium membership has not been announced. Uh, or Premium membership pricing has not been announced. The fee and exactly what you will get for it has not been determined. The team says that details will be coming later this summer on exactly what you get and how much that extra stuff will cost. But it's supposed to be competitive with other digital entertainment services until a real price has been announced. If you're looking for a ballpark, Netflix was named checked by the Wall Street Journal portion of the service. Or, no. Yeah. The Wall Street Journal... I don't know why they know about the gaming, but they said it would be it would cost less than what Netflix costs per month, and that's Netflix costs eight dollars per month. And I'd hope so, because Xbox already pays ten dollars per month. Maybe they should give it to Xbox for free, but that's just me. I don't know. I don't really care. Um, DLC will be available as part of the Elite, as well as a standalone download. So. Nothing is being taken away and nothing is compulsory. You simply have another choice when it comes to getting DLC. You can buy a COD DLC the traditional way, a map pack at a time, or you can automatically get the DLC as part of your Elite Premium membership. So that's kind of cool if you just automatically get it. You don't have to, like, if your Xbox automatically downloaded it, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, Chaco Sunny, the studio head, makes this extremely clear in an interview that is part of next week's upcoming podcast. If you are a player, who wants to purchase the DLC separately then that option is still there you can go ahead and buy the DLC independent of the premium membership if you want that said if you want to purchase the premium membership it gets the benefits that will be offered in terms of the features of elite and get the DLC with it it is, will be a great deal for you um, Codily is not going to sell players competitive advantages with 
microtransactions. If you're worried about someone buying their way to into prestige, that's not going to happen. Um, or if you think they're going to sell people special weapons that wouldn't normally get it, don't be. They said that wouldn't do it. We're not, quote, we're not doing anything like that, Chaco Sony says. It's not part of the plan. Also, clarity, um, Elite is not the same as the COD free to play or uh, free to play MMO currently being built for China. On an MMO, I didn't know that. Um, Elite has been in development for two years already. Nice, so they're going to actually work on it. That's good. While Call of Duty Elite has been designed to integrate into Modern Warfare 3, it has been developed over the last two years using live data from Black Ops. Um, you can access Elite from many devices. One of the goals is to let fans interact with Call of Duty when they're not able to play it. So at lunch, on a bus, whatever. If you're thinking about it, why not pop it up and see what's your stats and the leaderboards? Eh, that's kind of cool. Um, this website's already playing the game. Or, there's already a One of Swords group on COD Elite. So, that's really cool. I, don't, I wish I was playing it now. Um, oh, God. Oh, he said, there will be a free public beta this summer. Call of Duty Elite will launch at the same time as Modern Warfare 3. November 8th, 2011, but a public beta will run this summer. Chaco Sony says there, this is not just a teaser. It's a real beta that is not a beta for marketing purposes. The, be the way game betas are sometimes used, the team is looking for how the community uses it and what they like and don't like. Project director Noah Heller says the beta will run out or roll out in waves. So if you don't get in the right way, don't panic. You'll have more chances as the summer goes on as they open the beta wider and wider however he mentioned on the podcast that if you are already signed up at call dot com and you've been posting in the forums and as a dedicated fan that's likely to get you in sooner rather than later and of course if elite itself is free the beta is free too if you're interested and want to try it out they're taking signups at call dot com slash elite that's the most important parts of what i know so far there's more to learn and i'll keep finding stuff Chime in below, blah, blah. So that's it, guys. Um, if you could, if you're new, please subscribe. I'm going to be pumping out this Modern Warfare 3 information as soon as I get it. And like I said, I mean, I just read, I woke up this morning, read it on Twitter, boom. I made a video. Um, so, that, yeah, that's it. If you could leave a like, favorite, comment, that'd be great. And basically, till next time, stay classy.